it ain't been touched after it been installed. You know gotcha. what I'm What's going on guys? This is your boy Mr. 75 Caprizi with another video. First and foremost guys, I want to thank everyone who came supporting me on my car show Sunday at the prison. Man, it was it was crazy. You had to be there to know what I'm talking about. We hit max capacity. It, it, it was just it was just crazy guys. I didn't expect it. Like I kind of had an idea that it was gonna it was gonna be big just from like people talking and stuff but man it was definitely a good turnout i want to appreciate everyone that came and supported me and for those that couldn't make it i understand you know but man it was, it was crazy man I, I i can't wait for next one um I, I think that they're getting better and better every year so i can't believe like if you guys go inside the yard it is big i forgot they said that inside of uh inside of the yard like a whole block thing like like man i forgot how many acres but and it's big like if you go in there you know what i'm talking about it is huge and if y'all want to have an idea just go on uh on google and kind of put uh type in old joliet prison in joliet and you you're gonna see like images like from like the top and stuff just to have an idea of how big it is and guys it was big we literally stuffed cars everywhere uh, we had a lot of vendors food vendors good food vendors as that like and they, everyone sold out so man everybody said the food was good i myself didn't have a chance that's how busy i was um i had said last year that i kind of wanted to be more involved like or not, not like working it like i wanted to be more like with the audience and stuff but guys it was just crazy like i i feel like i needed to be there everywhere so we can make sure that it was a good show and i'm sure people that have shows know what I'm talking about because you just got to be there like you want to make sure that everything is going in order and try to just have everything in order but everything came out good uh, I know some people couldn't make it because we hit max capacity and uh, they were not allowing us to bring no more cars in but I mean I, there's nothing we can do because we couldn't bring no more cars there was nowhere to park them everything was pretty much taken for and if we would have just jammed it back in there, like, I don't think we would have been able to maneuver cars to get out of there. So, but it was definitely, definitely a good show, guys. So, I'm super thankful, me and my brother, Whisper Doc. So, I want to thank everyone for supporting us and, like, everybody that came out of state. Just everyone in general, guys. We, we appreciate the support. It was a good show and we can't wait for the next one. We're going to try to see uh, our next... Our next move so um we don't know yet if we're gonna change the venue i think what makes it a cool thing is that it's inside of a prison uh, yard and it's historical so it's pretty cool you know nice scenario like old buildings and stuff it's pretty cool so but we're gonna see guys we got a whole year for that right now we're just gonna get back to work and with that being said guys I'm actually on my way right now to go look at another box Chevy. You guys know that I just picked one up last week. And it was a 1989 Chevy Caprice. It was a blue one. Um, a lot of you guys have been inboxing me. And I haven't been able to get back. But unfortunately guys, that car sold the same day I bought it. Uh, you, some of y'all know who my uh, friend Mario is. I bought a couple cars from him. Well he actually knew i was going to go buy it and he was interested in buying it as soon as i got back with it so that's the story with that car guys the 1989 blue caprice guys it is sold so i don't longer have it so i apologize for anybody that i did not get back but it's just it was pretty much poking for it because when i bought it mario already wanted it and that's kind of like what happened with that car so yeah guys unfortunately that blue caprice is not available but we're gonna go see another one right now um, it's also here in town, so that's the cool thing. 
I was supposed to be there earlier, but I got caught doing some things with CJ. Now I'm about to put some gas and pull up on the guy. I don't know if he's gonna let me vlog at his house. And you guys know, some people don't feel comfortable, which is I, which I understand. But if I'm if I can't vlog, guys, I'm just gonna continue the video until tomorrow. Um, I'll probably pull over to the gas station and do a quick walkthrough, just so you guys can have an idea and you guys don't be wondering what it is. But if not. If we can't vlog it, then y'all just gonna have to wait till tomorrow. So, but let's see, guys. You never know. You might be cool with it. So, I'll check back once we uh, pull up over there, and uh, hopefully, we can vlog it. So, now stay tuned. It, it ain't been touched after it been installed. You know what I'm so, what year is this? This is '88. '88. Yeah. And how long you had it for? Uh, just a year. A year. Yeah. Why you got? Why you want to get rid of it so fast? Some house stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'd rather do. You just, you just kind of like wanted to try the car life? No, I had I had a two-door before. Two-door Chevy? Years ago, yeah, Landau. Landau? Uh, maybe uh, seven, eight years ago. Oh, okay. I got rid of it, and then, you know, I came across this one, so. You you bought this one, like, locally, or? No, I bought it from, uh, I mean, the dude, he was in Chicago somewhere, yeah. Okay, so it's Illinois car, though. Yeah. Okay. You you put the blue top? No. No, that's how it came? Yeah, the last dude, he, I guess he, um. Gotcha. So you pretty much got it the way it is. Yeah, it looks like it's open. Got a billet grill. Looks like it's brand new, super shiny. That's the billet answer, right? You know. Yeah. I mean, I got a, uh, I got a digital dash. It ain't Dakota though. I got okay. a, a few things that can, you know, since I can't keep it. You used to have music, I'm guessing. I just, it's in the garage right there. Oh, okay. You had put that on, or it came on the car? No, I put it on there. You put it on there. And then that's brand new too. Ain't even been used. So yeah. All that stuff. So. I put that steering wheel on because the other one was kind of old. So the top used to be white, so they, you can tell that they uh. Probably painted it. Yeah, they painted it, so it could just be dyed back white. I mean, I just like the color of that blue. The blue? That's why I bought it. Oh, you, that, that job, it got a little a flick of blue in there, too. You said the the paint got, like, blue in it? Yeah. Like a pearl or what? Yeah. Oh, I see. You ain't lying. Yeah, that's running, crazy. Just, you, yeah, you could, the, uh, you could even see that, like, like just without no sunlight. That's crazy. Yeah, you can't see that. That's just an antenna. I mean, the videos and the pictures didn't do no justice. Those were the ones that I got when I originally bought the car. What's that? I, I didn't use the new pictures like as of right now. Oh, okay. That's why I look all old. Yeah, oh, these right here. I had some, uh, two monitors too. Those installed on there. Where on the on the? I was gonna put them on the headrest. Oh, so you just ran the cables, but yeah. you never did. Oh, okay, okay. It's missing the weather stripping, right? Exactly. All four I doors. I figured that out when I went to the car wash. Yeah, <laughs> but you got wet. <laughs> Got aftermarket uh, opera lights, right? Yeah. I seen on the pictures where they were blue or something. Yeah. This windows off track. The windows, yeah, all the windows basically off track. Oh, the all the windows. The motors are old, and uh, yeah, probably need some new motors for the windows. And okay, yeah. but did the window work or no? Yeah, the power works, but they're not actually functioning. Oh, okay. You can tell that it's trying, so I'm, I'm assuming it's the motor. So what is all this? Gauges? Yeah, that's just the gauge that I needed. I told you he just put the engine in. Okay. And he told me I needed uh, new gauges or a dash. And oh. I just put that in just to keep the temperature of the car. Gotcha. And you don't got like none of these pieces right here? Yeah, I still got that. Like that? In the glove box. This is the only one that was uh, missing and it's in the glove box. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You say you I put this. The radio. the radio sitting right there on the speaker. Yeah, I see the radio. Um, the radio used to be hooked up, or, or the radio was hooked up. But the, the, the dude who hooked it up, man, he kind of, I guess, he rushed it. Yeah. And he kind of uh, a wire came loose, and it was shorting my battery, so oh. I just unhooked uh, the, the, the radio. But you do got like the radio kit that goes on it. It's right here. Oh, okay, okay. On top of the speaker. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was just asking because I see the big hole there. So. No, I kept everything. Oh, okay. And that's okay. the radio that was in there. That's the radio. Did you gotta slam it. That's probably off track. Off track. This is a bunch of minor stuff after. Sure. Yeah. 
showing his age, but. And then you said the engine's new? Yeah. Got it for a blueprint. I ordered it. It came in the crate. I had somebody put it in. Okay. But uh, after he put it in, it was just, you know, he just stopped asking the phone. So. For real? So what's to it, or, or what? What uh, when you say he stopped answering the phone, like what? I mean, uh, I guess uh, I didn't, I wasn't, I guess he figured that I wasn't gonna spend as much or get as much done, so maybe he just went to a bigger job. So I'm saying like, there's something left to do on it, or? I mean, as far as I know, breaking it in, and I don't know what that means. Breaking it in? I mean, it's a brand new engine, so I'm pretty sure some need to be either adjusted or a few things like that, whatever yes. need to be adjusted, um, whatever the case. How's the drive though? Like, as far as like, be, like besides the uh, breaking in, like, how's the drive right now? Yeah, it don't. Um, it drives like it needs some tightening up. You know what I'm oh, saying? okay, okay. Yeah. So it's not like what you expected. Exactly. Gotcha. And that's what I needed him to come back and do and finish. But you know. Why didn't you? Uh, since you put a motor, like, why didn't you put like headers and stuff? Why you put the manifold? Because um, when uh, after I ordered everything. Okay. And it was difficult with the dude, man. Because okay. I was going through him on which parts to order. Gotcha. And he is, you know, he got to the point where it seemed like it seemed like I was bothering him. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So he put the engine in, and then after that, I had to uh, get it to the exhaust shop so they can fit, you know what I'm saying, to the mm -hmm. engine. And then by the time I got it back over here so he could finish working on it, he was kind of too busy. Gotcha. So I only left these headers because he told me that I can use these. Um, the manifolds? Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, you could use them, but... You see how you got like all these extra little all pollution thing? Yeah. Like it's kind of like pointless. You were better off just putting some headers, especially brand new motor. And does this motor come like like with like a beefy cam or no? Oh, I got paperwork on it on everything. We I know about I, it. Yeah, I know it's brand new, but I'm saying like when you bought it, like it had like like a cam, like a bigger cam than like you normal. I'm guessing it I'm did, sure. right? You're not sure. I'm okay. Sure. okay. You say you bought it from where, Jags? Or I, where do you bought the motor from? Blueprint. That's the, that's the website? Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to get as much information, you know? That's all. I know some people be like, you ask a lot of questions, but I like to know what's all done to the car, you know, just to be aware. Sometimes I don't hear it, and then I go back on the video, and I can hear it. So that helps me. But, I mean, it looks like the car is all there. Uh, it looks like the windows need some adjustments, or he said mortars, so... We'll play with it a little bit. Let's see. In the door, door jams, rockers, they look clean. They don't look they don't look bad. Let me see. This door opens? Yeah, all I'm open. Oh, okay, no, I was just locked. That's all. Headliner looks good. Mm, don't look too bad. So I got all the information on it, what type of um as far as everything. So this is like an actual website store, oh, my bad. Yeah, that's the actual store. Blueprint engines. Where are they where are they out of like Not state? Sure. I, went on, I mean I ordered them through uh online. Online. And they just ship you the whole thing in a in a pallet? The whole crate came in. It's crazy. Yeah. How'd you get it like where it had to go? <laughs> I uh I loaded it on the trailer. Trailer? Yeah, it was only uh ten minutes from here. Okay, okay. Yeah. Took it to his garage, he dropped it in because he worked. Oh he somebody off a garage did it. Yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it was, uh, uh, you know, Skrill? I guess it was yeah, uh, yeah. the dude that uh, he didn't use it. Oh, okay. He put it in. Gotcha. So this is just like the screen radio? Oh, yeah, here's the kit. That's what I was asking about, the kit. Needs a dash cover. Oh, this one. So only the back two doors are missing the weather stripping. The two front ones have it. Just needs a little, like I said, little TOC. Oops, put it the wrong way. <laughs> oh, you got extra weather stripping? Yeah, I got some in there. Oh, okay, okay. So all, you said all the windows need to be like pretty much on track, right? The motor, yeah. The motor. All of them? From the being old, I, I think. 
Th this one goes up or you don't know? This one, and as, and as a matter of fact, this one is like that because I let it down and it didn't go back up. Oh, so I don't. And this was recently. <laughs> oh, that was like recently? Maybe a week ago. Ooh, okay, okay. How it sound when you started? Started. Does it sound like a stock motor or it sound like you got exhaust or? Look, I just, I had bought it, man. <laughs> I was going to keep it for a long time. Okay, okay. Cool. You know, I ain't really no car. Dude. Gotcha. Are these working right now? What's that? The gauges? Yeah, uh, this only one that we hooked up. That's the, uh, the oil pressure. The oil pressure? Yeah. Oh, it's not working. This one come on. Oh, okay. So here's the panel over there. Oh, okay. The vessel. Okay, okay. So there's that manual. Owner's manual. You got one? Yeah. All right. Well, let's see what these lights look like. Got some blue LED strips. Okay, okay. All the lights work. Does the AC work? Yeah, I, as a matter of fact, I have brand new AC put in there too. New what AC? Yeah, I put the what's name and I ain't even touched the car. Okay, so okay. But I did have brand new AC put in there. So whenever, you know, whoever tweaking, get, get the engine running right here. Yeah. All that stuff here. So right now the high beams are on. Let's see. Hold on. There you go. So it don't got no headlights right now, right? It just got like the high beams. Yeah, you just turn them on, didn't you? I know, but those are the high beams. So the high beams are be, are going to be your inner lights. Okay. So your headlights should be the... Your low beams are the outer ones. So right now it's on low beams. So they must have took out the lights. Just so you know. So these are just on though, right? No, look. So watch. Okay. These are going to kick on. So let's close, those are your high beams. You see that? Yeah, those are the, the inner ones are your high beams. But it's weird because you see how your bottom lights dim? Uh -huh. Like when you when you take them off. They get brighter, right? Yeah. I wonder what lights they have on there. Or even if they might not even have any bulbs in there. Or they might be popped. Yeah, because these supposed to turn on too. The little one. So right now, how it shifts? Shifts good or? Like... It shifts good, but like I said, um... No, I know, but... It work, yeah. yeah. It okay. definitely needs to work. Not like some major shit that we talked about money, but a regular car person, I guess, he'll know better off than I would. Okay. But it shifts everything? Yeah, it shifts everything. What's the furthest you drove it? Maybe about 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Uh, corner, uh, gas station, car wash, uh, maybe about here. Okay. Let's... Like I said, I ain't gonna take no chance. I'm gonna yeah. with it and get stuck somewhere. So gotcha. I did make sure it fired up and drives straight and all that. Right. Yeah. Uh. Let me put the light on. Oh, wow, it do 
only has one exhaust pipe. That's, that's crazy. Ugh. All right, come on, camera. Does the gas need to work? Yeah. Gas need uh, to work? As a matter of fact, I'm not sure. No, you don't and know. That's the thing why he told me I need a new gauge because I have to put it in. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, that's an important one. Right. I want to be. Alright guys, let me uh, chop it up with him, see if we come to an agreement and let you guys know right now. Well guys, we made it happen. A 1988 Chevy Caprice LS Brown. Broham is going with us. Now we didn't test drive it, but I mean it's got a new motor. So we probably gonna take it to get tweaked out and check out what's going on with uh, it's breaking in, but I don't know, we're going to see, but we're going to let the mechanic check it out and just see what he says. And then see if we can get all the windows figured out. And probably remove, I'm probably going to remove those gauges, I ain't going to lie. Uh, it, yeah, I don't know about that, you know, just having them there, they kind of don't do nothing. Yeah, it's just right. <laughs> this show, guys, boo. I'm going to load this thing up, guys. Uh, okay, so you want Say it again. You, want that? you have it? I got it, yes. This is still in the pack. I need okay. Yeah, it don't matter. All if right. it works for it, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even know about this paint job, guys, about having like that pearl. Let me see if I can show you guys because I don't know if you guys caught it earlier because it's kind of dark here, but let me see. Ooh, -hoo, look at that metallic. Look at that right there. Yeah, buddy. I bet this thing with like a good buff. All the metallics is gonna be blinging. So it's got a nice blue pearl. Didn't even know that. Alright guys, well, we got another one. You guys already know this one's gonna be in the inventory as well. It's not a keeper. This is gonna go for sale. So if anybody's interested, this one as of now has not been spoken for. I know the other one it was spoken for and that's because he kind of knew when I was going to look at it. Nobody knows I was getting this guys. So this when it drops it's going to be available. Um, so yeah. As soon as I figure out what's going on with it. It'll go up for sale. But you guys already know. I know some of some of y'all can't wait and y'all just ready to make that move. So don't hesitate. Message me on Instagram. Mr. 75 Caprice. And for those that don't got Instagram. You guys can message me here through YouTube and I'm sure we can figure some way to contact each other. So, But it's not a bad car. I mean, it's all complete. It's got a nice paint job. Um, probably could use a buff, but it still has a shine. I mean, look, it's dark right now and it has a nice reflection. So it's got all the white walls, all the hubcaps, interior's all there. It's going to need some dash work. It's all cracked, but they do sell a dash cover. Uh, I believe, what is it, Rock Out or something? Um, I, have to, I have to remember where it is, the website, but they sell a dash cover. Or you can fix that one and rewrap it. Kind of see if I can figure out the window situation. And I think he said he had the weather stripping for both back doors. Where, where do you have the weather stripping? Oh, shit, it's in, I gotta get that. Too. Okay, for the back doors. Wonder whose car this used to be. Y'all remember anybody remembers this car? Say he bought it like a year ago from the city. So I don't know whose car this used to be. Box Chevy. Everybody wants a box Chevy right now. And this one got a brand new motor, guys. It's got the blueprint. It's got like the miscellaneous parts right here. 
Got the dome light. What is that? LED lights. Oh, somebody changed them already because they're already on the car. Okay, okay. What y'all think though, guys? Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think of our latest pickup.